Okay. Hi. Hi again. So now we are going to talk about egos. This one is a pass through. I don't have any other egos besides the pass throughs. I found they're really super easy to charge. See that right there? That's your little connection to charge it. And it's basically a little USB cord. Excuse me. But I wouldn't recommend um, putting the uh, the charger itself on your computer because that can cause some problems. So don't do that. They do make wall plugins. They're 3.7. They look really nice. This one's purple. Has a little pink drip tip on it because, well, I'm not very matching. But, um,. The batteries last for a little while, like, um, depending on how much you vape, they can last from... Well, for me, I don't vape a lot on these, so it's a couple days, but when I am vaping a lot, I can get about six hours out of a battery before I need to charge it, which is pretty nice. Um, in here right now, I'm doing a double review, yay. In this one right now, in my atomizer, which is a standard 510 atomizer. See? Little atomizer. Standard 510. And this is just a cone. It's just really decoration. It's not really used for much. It doesn't do much. If you're an overdripper, it helps to keep um, juice off of your battery and your little button button and such. That's your button. It lights up when you press it, which is nice. You can buy little button protectors, so if you're carrying them in your pocket, they don't go off, which is always cool. In here, this is from Elixir, Elixir Liquid, and this is Caramel Apple, and it's 24 Nick. I'm on high neck. I have a little drip tip on here. So I went ahead and put three drops onto my atomizer. It's just a regular atomizer. It's not um it's not debridged or anything. It's just regular atomizer. Still has its wick and everything. So I was vaping on this all day yesterday. I love it. It's really, really yummy. Yummy stuff. As you can see, I have the fan going, so you can't really see the vapor so much, but um, the vapor production is pretty good. I think this is a 50-50 mix. But um, the caramel in this, in this juice, is really strong and it's buttery and it's sweet it's very sweet but it's not overly sweet so that's good there's no real aftertaste the apple is a bit weak in it so if you like a lot of apple flavor I don't see why you can add a couple of drops if you DIY of apple flavoring to make it stronger but the caramel is so good it, it tastes to me like a you know that toffee caramel popcorn that you can get during Christmas time? It's what it tastes like to me and it's, it's really yummy and I really like it. And it has, um, it has a little bit of a throat hit. It's not really harsh, which I don't like anything very harsh. So it works out pretty well for me. Um, but taste is all subjective. I really like this. Um... And Elixir is a pretty good company. It took two days for it to get to me. After it was shipped. Two days. And let me see if it says on the bottle where they're at. Because I'm not really sure. But the website is, if you're looking for good liquid, it's www. 
elixir, E I or E L I X I R liquid, L I Q U I D dot com. And they're always having promo co codes and stuff. So if you look on the forms like ECF or any of the forms, or just do a search on Google, sometimes you'll be able to come across them. Um, promo codes which would give you 10% off, 5% off your purchase, which is always nice. You can always get a good deal. And um, like I said, this one, really, really, really yummy. I love it. It's the caramel apple. Okay. Now in here, this is another another um another ego pastor. This is my pink one, which I got from iVape a while back. Bought the parts and this one also just has a my goodness, this is just full of juice. Okay, so this one <laughs> Which is leaking juice everywhere on me. Because apparently it had juice in it and I didn't know. Um, this one is just another standard 510 atomizer. I got these at Liberty Flights. 35 bucks for a 5 pack. It's a good deal. Um, there's my other juice. This is my little happy East Smoker juice. And this is, oops, sorry, let me move my hand here. Orange Creamy Dreamy. This one is also a 24. I'm just going to put a drip or two in here. But yeah, if you all saw that, um, that's what the cones are for on the egos. So you don't have liquid everywhere. And also, it gives it a nice finished look. It looks pretty. Or at least finished. Okay. So this one is E Smoker's Orange Creamy Dreamy, which is an orange sickle flavor. Let's see if you like it. That has extreme vapor production. Oh my goodness. Alright. So, obviously on the vapor production scale, awesome. But we also have this juice, which has a nice throat hit. If you like something with a little more throat hit, or having one of those days, you want a little bit of throat hit, this is the juice for you. It's still sweet, and it has the flavor of an orange creamsicle. If any of you have ever had that, there's an orange coating on top of vanilla ice cream. So it has a vanilla orange flavor, but it also has that sweetness of ice cream and is really yummy. And you get that at, um, gosh, let's see. Oh, I think it's happy. H A P P Y E Smoker S M O K E R dot com. And he also has promo codes often. And if you guys um, check out any of the rooms Elixir, VapeNet, Vape TV, or Outcast Vaping um, on Stick'em. He runs around the rooms and he does tons of giveaways. He's a really nice guy. And Jason from Electronic Six the same way. So everybody's kind of everywhere. And you know, if you're a new vapor, 
going out and checking out the channels is probably a really good idea. Because then, you know, if you need some help with something, someone will help you. If you have questions, someone will answer them. Or at least direct you to someone who can. So, for me, I think it's a wonderful idea. So yeah, everybody, egos are great starter devices. They're 3.7 voltages, and what's great about the pass-throughs is, even though I don't have anything I can hook them up to right now, nothing's plugged in, you can use these while they are plugged in. So, they're great, and they're great for on the go. If you're a lady, you can stick them in your purse. If you're a gentleman, I recommend putting a, a button protector on it so it doesn't hit the button. But, you can have these in your pocket. Because you don't want them going off in your pocket. That's a bad idea. So, anyway guys, I'm going to sign off. But, I really do appreciate each and every one of you who watch my videos. And, I hope that these reviews helped you. Have a great day.